And so, we demand, we we demand, demand this university, that this university, never ties with this man. Thank you for coming to this very important media event to call attention to the monopolistic business practices of Mr. Carlos Slim, the wealthiest man on the planet. This week, you won't just see press conferences. You will see direct action. He took over uh, Telefonos de Mexico practically for free. And since it's become this huge monopoly, which now has gone beyond the borders of Mexico and expanded into the United States, Central, South America, and the Caribbean, and most recently, uh, Europe. It turns out this person is also the single largest personal private stakeholder of Saks Fifth Avenue. Ask New Yorkers to boycott Saks Fifth Avenue store. Carlos Slim is a symbol. The richest person in the world not investing in their markets, allowing the citizens of their country to pay more so they can do better. Not only is the richest man in the world, but that has chosen a business model that's predatory in its very essence, that squashes poor people, doesn't take into consideration their needs. New Yorkers! New Yorkers! New Yorkers! New Yorkers! We cannot allow! We cannot allow! Global! Global! Monopolists! Monopolists! Who believe! Who believe! That poverty is opportunity! Poverty is opportunity! To invest! To invest! In our country! In our country! In our city! In our city! We will continue to fight to ensure that there is a level playing field for all people, that the gap between the half and the half-nots does not continue to white. My check! My check! Attention shoppers! Attention, Attention shoppers. shoppers! The world's richest man! The, the world's richest, richest man. man! Carlos Slim! Carlos Slim! The largest owner! It's the, the largest owner! Shares of Saks Fifth Avenue! Uh, shares of Saks Fifth Avenue! There was a report that came out by the OECD that said $13.4 billion is the number that citizens have been overcharged as a result of these practices. How much could be done with $13.4 billion in Mexico? But we're not angry at people who do things in the positive way, who provide opportunities for people to earn a living while they also make a profit. We are angry and we are calling attention to people who believe that poverty is an economic opportunity. These are the same people who believe corporations are people and money is speech. Well, we are going to continue organizing uh, to bring attention to who Carlos Slim is and so long as he does not lower his rates, we will continue to demonstrate until uh, you know he hears our voice.